Well, new at six as drought and the changing climate continue to cause challenges for the water supply here in California, farmers are facing yet another issue. ABC 10 meteorologist Carly Gomez is in the studio to explain. It seems like the agriculture industry can't catch a break as water is dwindling. Now major pests are consuming much of Northern California's farmlands. They're like locusts. From, they're essentially a plague. Grasshoppers and Mormon crickets by the millions. We're getting counts of 100 to 200 grasshoppers per square foot. Modoc County hay farmer Bryce O'Sullivan says most of his fields are at a complete loss right now for their second cutting. The numbers are so bad that they're actually completely eating it all the way to the ground. Farm advisor Thomas Getz with the University of California Cooperative Extension says grasshopper numbers have skyrocketed over the last few years of drought. Um, you know, once they have wings, um, they've been shown to move, you know, 10, 20 miles um, to search for food. They really have uh, had a devastating impact, you know, where air people have had the water to grow hay because there hasn't been much on the rangelands for them to eat. While there are methods like spraying pesticides early and land tilling, the double-edged sword involves completely wiping out the plant. Um, generally on wet years, there are some naturally occurring funguses that will help keep their populations low, um, which we haven't had the past few years. While there hasn't been an official monitoring of these pests, farmers are banding together in sharing strategy methods. They hope the USDA's Animal and Plant Inspection Service can offer help with aerial sprays and funding assistance. People have never seen grasshoppers like this. With the price of hay and their um, production practices, um, you know, they're just getting eaten out of house and home. As supply of hay is limited, the demand is growing in the cattle and dairy industries. Many fear this could cause an increase in beef and milk products in the near future. Those small little things can have such a major impact on a billion dollar industry. And the first thing I asked is, Carly, did you have to go out and get all that video? She said, no, the camera would have been shaking all over the place. So. <laughs>